Okay, let's just start off by you telling us, Michelle, a bit more about the Women in Science program. Okay, so the L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science program was created back in 1998, and um, it is a partnership between the L'Oreal Foundation and um, UNESCO. And the program really is um, aims to improve the representation of women in scientific careers. Um, the program is underpinned by the philosophy that the world needs science and science is women. And as L'Oreal, we really, really are the driver behind, you know, supporting women in the scientific field. Okay. And then um, the other night I witnessed that um, six winners basically received awards. Um, can you just tell mm -hmm. our viewers more how um, you got to the six ladies. I understand that you receive um, hundreds of applications. So to, mm. to our viewers out there basically who'd like to apply, can you just tell them a bit more about that process? So um, the program is literally open to um, PhD and postdoctoral um, students that are within a scientific um, field. So how it works is um, we open up applications every year. And for applications, people need to go to uh, For Women in Science our website, which is www.forwomeninscience.com. And that is where you're literally going to find information about how to apply for the program. But literally what the program focuses on is um, as a postdoc, uh, post or a PhD um, um, candidate, you would um, ordinarily be working on a research project, right? So you really enter your research project. And then after that, we have an amazing team of assessors and juries that we work with. So once we've received all those applications, the, um, the candidates um, projects are literally go through a very, very um, task literally to actually look at the research. So at the end of the day, we're looking at the impact, you know, um, each candidate's research projects has um, to impact the world or, you know, it creates, you know, um, human or solve human issues. So Michelle, would you say that the L'Oreal Foundation addresses um, the 17 sustainable goal, development goals? And if it does, which goals does it specifically focus on? We have a new program that we've launched recently um, called L'Oreal for the Future. And the program aims to really become uh, fully sustainable uh, by 2030. And how we aim to do this is by producing environmentally friendly packaging, one, um, ensuring that all our sites are carbon neutral uh, with 100% renewable energy, and also just really committing towards an ecosystem uh, rest restoration project um, that are among the brands as that, that it is amongst the brand sustainability goals. How does the program create awareness of females in this respective industry? Um, you know, um, one of the reasons why as L'Oreal we're actually getting into this program, right, is because, you know, at Women Scientists, and I think this is globally, um, Although they, 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 they are leading groundbreaking researchers across the world, but really despite their efforts, women are still um, mis under misrepresented in the science field, right? So our work um, as L'Oreal is literally just to create that platform, um, to create that awareness about the work, the work that is done by um, women um, 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 researchers in the science um, field, literally to create that equal gender representation in the field. Okay. And then Michelle, just lastly, um, to individuals who'd like to apply, um, can you just give them details for the next um, intake um, with regards to how can they, how can they apply? So like I said previously, so we've literally closed off um, the 2022 program. And I must say, um, going forward, we're literally looking forward to uh, following the journey um, the six ladies are going to be embarking on while they are pursuing um, their research studies. So for 2023 program, it will be open from um, May 2023. All you need to do is to go to www.formant.com. Um, for women in science.com to get all the um, information around the South Africa program. Okay. Oh, sorry. Before before I move on to Boy Dumelo, Michelle, um, I just quickly realized that um, I didn't mention, we didn't talk about um, the grant in terms of um, our viewers would like to know what the grant is all about. 
can you just kindly tell our viewers about the grant that was received so by the UNESCO? So the grants that have been received by the recipients is literally, you know, um, especially, and Butumelo can attest to this, when you're studying and you're literally just trying to, you know what, get your um, your paper done, funding could be a problem, right? So this is why um, L'Oreal, we literally found this program to be um, so impactful and literally just, you know what, we cannot solve the world's problems, like, but we can literally just help, you know, give them a step ahead um, in their grants. So literally the grants will help them to further their studies and literally conclude their, um, their research. And I can say maybe for the next two, three years. Yeah. Okay. All right, Michelle, thank you so much. Um, let's move on to you, Boy Dumelo.